New on 2 News at 6 in HD, hundreds of people are taking the reins at Expo Square in Tulsa. The Arabian Horse Show kicks off Friday. 2 News reporter Marla Carter found it's roping in more than big crowds. Matt Dillon here along with 1,600 other horses will be competing over the next week here at Expo Square. But it's not just a big event for Expo Square, it's also a big event for the Tulsa economy. Good boy. Whoop. Meet Raz, an athlete and a fierce competitor. He's warming up for Friday, but in this show, he's acting more as a helper of sorts on the sidelines. He is one of the horses that keeps the horse, the cattle moving so that the horses and the riders can get the best score that they can possibly get. While Raz isn't competing, Kathy Braden and her husband have a cavalry of seven others, hoping to sit as the high horses and beat out the competition. It's an adrenaline rush. You know, it's better than getting on a roller coaster and getting to the top and know you're coming down to the bottom. As Raz ran prep laps, other horses were getting primped and ready for Friday's big event. We added more working areas for the exhibitors so we improved their ability to prepare their horses for the classes. The event's also stepping up big bucks for Expo Square, bringing in a gross revenue of 400 grand. As for the city of Tulsa, it will see the economic effects of the week-long event, too with visitors from all over buying up goods. Ruth Reinhardt came from Minnesota to see her daughter ride. Well, uh, food um, and lumber, supplies, mulch, landscaping materials. We probably have spent $700 on that, and I'm sure there's many other exhibitors that have spent a lot more. In fact, the entire economic impact is $33 million for T-Town, all to put these athletes to the test. They mean everything to me, other than my husband and my family they're the next best thing in my life <laughs> the arabian horse show starts this friday at 8 a.m and goes until 9 30 and admission is free this weekend for more information we have a link to its website on our website just go to kjrh.com in midtown marla carter two news works for you